from the Outa Mena Woods on the edge of Austin, Texas, we've gone full hedonist, and it's going to be a great night. Now, here are your fancy hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, people are saying I got no mic. That's probably for the best. Uh, no, I was covering. Uh, That's what that was. <laughs> Not me having a stroke. Oh, I was got it. Covering. Uh, uh, hi, Brian. How are you today? I'm good. You ready to have a great night? Um, I think so. What? You sound hesitant. Well, Before the show, uh, you seem so chipper. No, I, I, I just, I really want. Look, this is our third got you episode. So down in the dumps. No, I'm not down in the dumps. I, this is our third episode. Ah, oh, so the first everyone episode, knows the most unlucky number. The first episode, we could shit on the floor, and everyone would be like, "Hooray, you shit on the floor!" On technically, on air. that would be episode number two. Episode two, we could shit on the floor and then be like, okay. I got, I got one lap. That's all I needed. <laughs> okay, you shat on the floor again. Maybe this is a bit. Right. But the third episode, it's got to be good. It's got to be very good. And the problem is we had two very good episodes. And so now, if this one's bad, then we're really We're just bad it. people. We're just terrible people. Yeah. We're very uh, bad people. Also, I'm suddenly realizing that one of the cameras is framed on the these two mics and that my, the mic I'm on was not on. Um... And I want to explain myself. Uh, one of these mics is taller than the others, and I just I just naturally assume that's where the 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 the, the walking ten foot tall uh, heatness uh, goes. So I don't know if yes. I walked up to the wrong mic or not. No, I you're on the right mic. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. I feel better because I was a little bit nervous about it, and you just calmed my, my nerves. That's good. Yeah. So we're like a calming wave. Yeah, that's. You know what? <laughs> We've always been. <laughs> we're like the Michael Winslow of white noise just machines. Just do me a favor. I'll do white noise, <laughs> yep. and then you do a calming <laughs> mantra. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna go burn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oil on my feet again. Curse you, Exxon. <laughs> We're on the beach. Why do you have to get political? <laughs> I'm just trying to do my I'm music. trying to make an accurate representation of life on the beach. Okay, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my Sharona. Well, hey, Brad, buddy, you want to turn that down? <laughs> <laughs> is this like a childhood thing that you got to work it's, through? It's like, just a very accurate representation a, of beach sounds. Of that sounds. time that your dad got angry at somebody for playing My Sharona too loud? Hey, hey that's not My Sharona. That's just the loop that Run DMC's using. Fuck you! <laughs> That was a racial thing? <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky to catch a wave. Catch a wave. <laughs> right to blame. <laughs> Bryce, what's our first topic? <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Hello, everybody. It's time to do some topics. Our first topic that we're going to do here is... Bum, bum, bum. Ants 3. The sequel to Ants 2. Yeah. Um, the Ants 1. This is, this is yeah. Uh, uh, for those of you who the have Ants not seen one, the first. The Ants 1, Mr. Lebowski. <laughs> for those of you who have not seen the first two episodes of Great Night, uh, Brian has been at war with Ants. He uh, he first decided that he would pour water on them. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Okay, did not pour water. Use a guard. Okay. So I wanted to torture the Ants because they had the courage uh, I would say the maniacal drive to to to, to invade my my hollow territory, and for that they were to drown. Uh, because as I mentioned, I'm God their ants. Well, <laughs> or, or the villain in Flash Gordon, like, <laughs> yes. like in the way okay. that you're talking. Comfortable with any of these? Yeah, <laughs> Ming the Merciless, right? Yes. Uh, so, uh, 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 and then the next week we talked about how I found out that using a garden hose to try to flood ant mounds is apparently a way to get rid of ants, right? Um, here's here's the thing that happened. Yeah. Uh, 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 last week, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a real thing. Unfortunately, it is a real thing that does ruin the ant mounds, but then they got to build a new ant mound, and it turned out that we have to build a fucking ant mound closer to my fucking hollow territory. Because you're not killing them. That's right. You're I'm just flooding them. them. Yes. You're annoying them. Yes. Uh, so you are hoping that one day 
the ants will come to you and say, we've been bested in intellectual combat, Mr. Brushwood. Please. Uh, <laughs> yes, true. We pledge fealty. We are better than And then they'll you just... They'll just put both of their, uh, or all of their hands on their hips, all six of their hands on their hips, and then they'll slowly shake their thoraxes and, and in disbelief uh, that, like, you bested them like an 80s movie. Um, uh, so, uh, at any rate, uh, eventually I figured out that uh, things were just getting worse. It wasn't working, so I bought in Andro, and now they're all dead. So, congrats, you won, and you're dead. <laughs> Salvation. That's what it's called. Congrats, Wait. you won, <laughs> and also you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> yes. So, they won. Well, they won in that I was not able to drive them away where they could live in a big farmhouse <laughs> with lots of acreage <laughs> to run around. Actually, they did. They literally had the dream. They they had lots of acres to run around, and they did. They, they, so, they, what you really wanted was for them to go away. To go away. And they then they did not. And they didn't. And now they're dead. So you killed them. Uh, well, which you should have done. The poison. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah. well, you. I mean, do you wish you had done it sooner, or do you feel less than because you weren't able to drive them away? Uh, no. I I, I, I'm not happier that I had to go to the hardware store. Uh, I would have preferred they had just gone away. That's really what this is about, okay. is you yes. had to go to Lowe's? Yes, yes. I did go, I, I, I'm, yes! Wait, what, what part of this did you, yes! Well, because the <laughs> segment for three fucking weeks hasn't been called Lowe's. <laughs> I know! It's been it. called in! And now they got a free plug. There we go. Lowe's got a free plug. Thank uh, you, Amber. On the down lows. Uh, <laughs> please, Bryce, what's our next segment? Our next segment, catfish. You got a point there. Hold on. Is this the activity or the food? Uh, this is oh, a I story. Or it's either. It's a fish. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, uh, this is a story that is going to be told by our guests tonight. Uh, I would like to welcome uh, to the show the host of The Political Orphanage and the author of the currently available book, Los Angeles is Hideous. It is Andrew Heaton. Yo, where Hello. My is Good to be back. Hello. Uh, Goddamn. Uh, I, 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 everything about our set has been classed up. Everything about our like, presentation like has been classed up. The and then and the you green. walk <laughs> up with your smoking jacket, yeah. and suddenly we're dog shit again. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. we're the ants. The, the, the goal is how can I make you all like. And you're low. You're oh, ants. Oh, 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 Mr. Low, it's mm -hmm. so good that you showed yeah, up. I'm just, I'm just the right height above you, too. This is perfect. <laughs> really uh, like we can setup. do yeah. it. You can help. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Heaton, you moved to Tulsa. Yes, that's true. Uh, yes, I'm in Tulsa. That's Which is right. often called the uh, Austin of Oklahoma. Or the that Los is... Angeles of the middle. No, 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 oh. no, no. We, we got nothing in common with Los Angeles. I, I moved to Tulsa. I've been having a great time. Yeah. It's a fun city. Uh, it's it's colorful, but it doesn't know it, which I find really fun. Like, because like I love Austin. Austin's a very great city. <laughs> so you're, say, city. you're saying they're colorblind, and they've all got they all have garish colorings that they painted their houses, but yeah, they don't well, realize you know, it. Like, so it's like 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 Austin, wonderful city. Like, yeah, quirk, one of three cities in America with a quirk based economy, which is 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 laudable. But it's very self aware of that. Where like yes. you, you rock up to Austin, they're like, "Welcome to Austin. Here's your ukulele. Are you going to the turtle race? I'm wearing a scarf." Whereas. <laughs> <laughs> in in like Tulsa, I went to this event. I, I sent you guys links to it here last weekend or well, two weeks here, ago. It, it, don't oh, spoil it. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Like, just random things will happen, and people don't know it's weird. They're just doing it for fun, and I like that. It's a cool place. It's it's basically at the point of she's all that where where uh, uh, the the art girl has yet to fully re uh, uh, realize that if she takes off the. Uh, overalls and the glasses she, that she, she suddenly just cute. looks like uh, you know a, Sandra a super Bullock. hot yeah yeah a super hot Sandra the, see, Bullock. We, we don't call ourselves the Los Angeles of the Austin of Oklahoma. We do say it is the Sandrick Bullock of cities in Oklahoma. So that is accurate. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, but one of the things that you've been doing, which I find bizarre, uh -huh. is that you're sending Brian and I uh -huh. random video. Yeah, yeah without here. contact. I, 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 no I, 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 I think we're gonna have to tuck up. Uh, we'll cozy over here to so that we can see it on the on the uh, the big screen. But uh, uh, I I am a bad friend. 
um, because I've seen that you are sending them to us, but I don't know that I've watched any of them. Real? Okay, okay, great. You're going to enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. Do we, do we, do we see it? Yeah, no, no. We'll see it on the screen. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, wait. Okay, I'm on the right here. All right, sorry about that. So this, okay, so this is actually what you were just saying. This is what I was referring to. This is a couple weekends ago, yeah. Uh, audio listeners, <laughs> Brian, you see yeah, go ahead and explain that. You're <laughs> seeing it for the first time. Bryce, one more time. You go ahead and play it. Uh, okay, we got we got bales of hay on both sides of uh-huh. a track, and we have what appear to be adults uh, riding big wheels, uh, uh-huh. like nice, fancy uh, uh, bespoke big wheels. <laughs> they're bespoke wheels, uh, uh-huh. and they're being pelted with, uh, I assume, enough water balloons that everything looks like a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie because with that hose down set, it's just water so here, everywhere. Here, this is my theory. We, we all have basic human impulses, right? Yeah. Like, we, yes. like we're, we're all going to eat food, and, and so you want to funnel it to, like, a healthy salad as opposed to, a, like, a not healthy hamburger, right? And, like, we all want to reproduce... So like you're gonna like you're gonna do you're gonna do certain things, but it's not a, it's it's inappropriate to have sex while flying a plane, right? We all want to stone people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 it's wrong to have sex on an airplane? No, no, no. While you're flying an airplane. Have sex as much as you want. Yeah, even That's better. Okay. I mean, it's quite literally the only... There's a button called autopilot, and now I know why. Mm-hmm. It's the, all those pilots <laughs> are banging each other. Yeah. I, Nate, hold on. Now I'm puzzled by your position on this, because you're going every pilot who hasn't fucked while flying a pussy. <laughs> uh, technically... Uh, uh, Sorry, there's nothing sexist I could come back with. Uh, 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 the the um uh, 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 yeah yeah I'm I'm gonna say if you have a pilot's license and the ability to press a- autopilot. Look, man, I we watch- have pilots in our audience for the record. <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, and I, I guarantee you, I, I, the the earlier, yeah. I guarantee you, they've all fucked on a plane while flying. While well, flying. Yes. This is I'm you gonna, guarantee it. I'm gonna gonna hit it you're giving the menswear house guarantee that I've every watched- pilot. Has fucked while flying. I'm gonna say every pilot I respect. Wow! <laughs> I, I don't care how many planes Sully saves from hitting the, the Hudson. If he hasn't had sex on a plane, he's not a real pilot. <laughs> dude, I watched the dude. Brian Brushwood, the pilot, this track. Go! Dude, I watched I watched the dude fucking chick in a Tesla on autopilot. <laughs> It's a true fact. I'm, I'm, uh, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think how, how, how this was sound of our day. This is our new segment, uh, Things We Saw on Pornhub. L- l- ladies and gentlemen. For the record, I bought me my, too. I, I, mean, like, like, do you, I fucking... Do you, yeah. We just Eiffel Towered this motherfucker. Anyway, Heaton, what are we talking about? I, I'm just... I'm, I'm in, my, in my mind, I'm picturing somebody going, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be... <laughs> <laughs> We'll be uh, all, uh, almost I, I, okay, there. We're gonna be pulling huh. in. To, we're real close. Later, we're real, later real close. <laughs> we're just gonna keep going like that. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna uh, just. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it, no, it's strange. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm no longer we're going interested to in any of you. I was really <laughs> interested <laughs> in you about 30 minutes ago. I thought I liked you. It turns out I don't like you as much as I thought I did. <laughs> all, all, all yeah, my plane. I'm like, sleeping. I'm like, uh, we're uh, we're we're about to begin our final descent. Uh, ding. Up. Oh, sorry. Text message. Got a little distracted. <laughs> We're going to pull around for uh, another approach. Uh, uh, anyway, Bryce, what's our next topic? <laughs> yeah. Our next topic here for Great Night is bump. Tricycles. The Latin for three cycles. So Was that I think, not? I think, I think we actually got <laughs> oh, these mixed up. I got these mixed up. Uh, Andrew well, I, I, hold said, on. I like that we were going to just completely move without any explanation of what we'd seen. <laughs> what it was yeah. me setting up some explanation, and then we got distracted about pilot sex. And then we were like, <laughs> "Great, <laughs> covered that. Let's move on." I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, don't have to contextualize. <laughs> so, all right, there, there is a tricycle race through Tulsa. A, yeah, every year there's a tricycle race through Tulsa, apparently, 
And from what I can tell, every all of the okay, listeners, I, mean, I, I don't know that you get to say apparently when we just watch <laughs> documented video of it. But yes, but, well, no, the apparent bit is I think people just show up with water balloons where they're like, hey, we're going to go down to the uh, tricycle race and pelt people with water balloons. <laughs> and they're like, great, it's hot, let's do that. And there's, it's like you're stoning people with water balloons. It's, it's a fun a, event. I, I, I love it. I had the same thing happen on a flight. Everyone was like, adulterer, you're married. <laughs> right. See, and that's my point. We all have these instincts to stone people. I know people. your wife. That's why. Who is my friend? <laughs> I hate the GSA. <laughs> That's Brian. Brian just wants to get in on it. I stand up. I'm like, Fourth Amendment, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, 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 so you went to the tricycle race, and that was bizarre. Mm. But it was nothing compared to the next video that you sent, and that was actually Catfish. Mm. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to show this video to everybody and just understand that both Tricycle and Catfish when I tried to inquire with some like soft conversation starting like, wow, or what's that? Stone silence from Andrew Heaton. Andrew Heaton is now just I in feel, Tulsa I feel the video you're about shit. to see is entirely self-explanatory. Feel free to raise the volume on it so you can hear the soundtrack too. <laughs> I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, Justin, you want to explain what I'm seeing? Yeah, it's uh, Andrew Heaton. Going down into a totally see-through tank. Oh my god. And gripping by either the head, mouth, or neck a catfish that has to be anywhere between 10 and 14 pounds. Uh, he is now waving to the camera <laughs> like he just won a catfish weighing between 10 and 14 pounds. It has wrestled its way away from him, proving that he's not the true king. That's right. Uh, yep. uh, and, okay. and now that catfish, because it escaped, gets to breed and have a good life. We're gonna. I mean, it's, like, it's like a bull <laughs> that survives bullfighting. This reminds me of a story about somebody who pretended to be Jewish and gay <laughs> in order to lead the parade. Uh, that was definitely in the like. Wh uh, what is this? It's like. Uh, is it noodling? This is noodling. So okay. this is no now. Now what you saw was a kind of. Uh, 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 play kid environment. So th th this is like the testing environment for noodling. True noodling, real noodling. You go. It's the dumbest thing you can do in a lake. You yep. go into the lake and you put your hand in a hole and you fight 300 million years of evolutionary pressure, telling you not to touch a sea monster. And when it does, you shove your your arm as far back into it as you can, so that you can grip it from the inside through the gills. And then you pull it out like you're in a goddamn Cormac McCarthy novel, mm -hmm. and and then you you show it to other people that did it, and one of you wins the contest. And then you fix the hair, and you open the cabin uh, door, and you walk like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 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 so uh, uh, a question is normally there, there's a thing you do in the video that we see that I don't believe is part of noodling because the reason that noodling exists, as I understand it, is because they're in the, like a silty, boggy yeah. marshes yeah. where you can't see anything. Right. So you feel a hole and you're like, I bet there's a catfish down there and you go down. What you don't do is what we see you do, which is look lovingly into your partner's <laughs> eyes yeah. before you know, you're like I, getting consent. I believe for in it. <laughs> I, it's, this, this, <laughs> this isn't just about me. It's about me and the catfish. It's about us as a unit. We you both should need really to have a good put time. this in your Tinder bio. <laughs> like you should. That shows that you are a very tender I, lover. I, I believe in consent. I will make yeah. prolonged eye contact like, with look, you until you wriggle like, free. Yeah, what I did with this catfish. How did you uh, react? React when you found out that was I actually could do with your catfish. A, a 38 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you, know Thank what? you. I got me, one left. That's all 37, I, need. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Let's see if we can make this work. It wasn't that much money. I'll, maybe I'll get a, a, a reality TV show out of it. Yeah. Yeah, noodling, it's fun. Where the fuck is that? Like, where is there a thing? We're still at this point where I have no idea. Do you walk down the street? Is there a Hardee's across the street? And then a noodle tank right there? Like, There's, do, uh, do, or did you pay $5? Yeah. Were they handing out cards no, like gave, a strip club in Vegas? And, I, I, and I you guys were listening like to so, so Did you car? lose a bet? <laughs> I had so many <laughs> fucking like, questions. Like, like, and I finally got you on the show right. where you have to answer them. <laughs> you're flicking the cards. You're like, it's, you ever feel that? It's, that a, it's in Paul's Valley. Valley, Oklahoma, which is the the capital of noodling, although not necessarily the, the best capital place to go of noodling, because it's where the annual noodling festival is in Oklahoma in or, or the nation. I, as far as I know, the nation, but I'm, I'm guessing it happens everywhere. But but, it, but this is where the festival is, and nice. I went Can there you and Google they Google noodling they, they, capital. S <laughs> someone has a mobile fish tank aquarium. Yeah. That apparently like, had to be custom built to drive to events for people like me that want to climb in to grab a catfish by the lip. I was also confused was there about a that. line. Uh, 
there there was a, a sign up clipboard. It's technically I went up, in this like case a called fucking, like a karaoke night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I, I went up and I was like, "What's the wait time?" And they're like, "It's about thirty five minutes." And I was like, "All right, I feel like one beer is the exact amount of alcohol <laughs> I should have before I climb in there and do that." And I uh, mean, yeah, considering what we just saw, I wouldn't call it a lie, but more of a train. Uh, the, never mind. All right. <laughs> what? Autopilot. Ding. <laughs> uh, we have no, some. No. We We're have going down. Wait, hold on. Bryce. Bryce has <laughs> as our, our results is. Wait, where where did you say it was? Pa- Paul's Valley. Paul uh, is Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, the capital of noodling. That's certainly what the Paul's Valley Democrat, as well as whatever say the Oklahoma the Living of say. Record. Uh, <laughs> both both of them say that that is the center of noodling. Yeah, that yeah. old noodle lady. Literally. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, so you are there. Like, do you know you're getting into a a, a gigantic fish tank, and and are that, you in your underwear? That do would you be, bring. I would, like, I mean, are you worried about getting like dry seconds? I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, one of the one of the things that I was kind of worried about was the catfish had like was bleeding a little bit, and I was like, well, I feel kind of bad grabbing a bleeding catfish by the mouth. I don't feel out. comfortable with and, this line of yeah. improv. <laughs> and, and I, I I actually talked to the guy, and I was like, hey, you see how the catfish is bleeding? Is that because you guys beat it up or anything? And he's like, no, they just when it they filled out some when, when they. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, told you. When, 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 they, they just naturally like kind of bruise themselves as they're going through holes and things. At least according to the circus carny that I gave five dollars to <laughs> <laughs> before I climbed into a tank. Uh, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. They got black guys because they're thinking too hard. <laughs> Yeah, Bryce. What's so our next you, topic? Wait, uh, before we wrap it up, uh, would you recommend the experience? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, go check out Noodling. It's it's a phenomenal experience, and it'll be good for when you yourself enter a Corvette McCarthy novel in a, yeah. in a wonderful circus-like environment. Uh, especially, for the record, all your listeners, he refused to look either of us in the eye <laughs> no. when he said that. <laughs> especially in Paul's Bottom, Oklahoma, or wherever the fuck he went. Uh, uh, where? What's the next topic, Bryce? Our next topic. Is Joy TV. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we're watching Loki. Okay. And we're trying to we're trying to make we're trying to demystify the upstairs to our Weimar honor, who is now uh, a little over one year. And uh <laughs> so what we do is we we let her up in the media room, everybody gathers in there. Uh, uh I think Callie is already off in bed. We're watching Loki, the latest episode. Uh, we, we hand her a treat, and she, she does... Uh, Weimar honors do this thing called uh, uh, nooking, mm. uh, where, where they will place their mouth on a pillow or soft objects and just sort of pulse, go... Mm, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. And everybody in the Facebook group is all like, the fuck is happening with this dog? <laughs> and they're like, that's nooking, it's normal. Yeah, great. So, so we're watching Loki, and, uh, and she's like half-mounted this pillow, and it's just going... Mm, 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 just having a good time. And at one point... It cuts to uh, a, a scene where, where the whole screen is red. It's somebody in prison, uh, and and she looks up, and I've never had a dog that can see television. And she goes, "The fuck is that?" <laughs> and she starts barking like crazy. And then it cuts away, and she's like, "All right, everything is cool or whatever." It goes to back to that person, and she goes, "What is that? What is happening?" <laughs> and so and so we pause everything, and then we're like, "What happens if we show dogs?" And and we do, and she's watching television, and when it's dogs, she's like, oh, that's nice, that's fun. So I've never had a dog that can see television before, and I want to know two things. Number one, uh, why, which maybe that's something that somebody can email us. Uh, I think I know. Uh, 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 I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a frame rate thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. they used to be slower frame rate, now they're faster, because previously your dog was looking at a flip book in slow motion and it made no difference. Now the technology's improved enough that it's watching TV with you. Uh, and I would imagine also similar, yeah, I guess that's why... Um, when TVs are in the background, uh, you know they would flicker because the refresh rates don't don't match. Whereas, like on on LCDs, it's it's different. But uh, but now my next question: uh, How do we mess with her next? <laughs> like like what do we? I mean, the her? classic Harmontown story was that they realized their dog could watch TV, so they recorded their dog barking at the TV. <laughs> And then recorded their dog barking oh, no. at the TV, and then rec- played that, and recorded their dog barking <laughs> at the I'm TV, seeing, barking at the, the audience, TV, barking hard at the TV. No. <laughs> so that I mean, look, you, I, if we're just spitballing here, yeah. like that's where we start. That's where we start is the ultimate, like a uh, uh, next and next and next and next and next, yeah. where it's all them barking at themselves, barking at the TV. My my brother's dog 
uh, which is, I think, and I love dogs, so I say this with love, is probably the dumbest dog we've ever had. Mm. And I say this because so we've got because a lake. You, you a, a, played Trivial Pursuit. We played Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> did a horrible. We, we've got this lake house yes. in, in Wagner, Oklahoma, which is the Kenny Bunkport of Oklahoma. <laughs> and the, 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 the dog had never seen a lake before, and it came up and went, what the fuck is that? And started barking at the lake. And when the lake did not respond, it attacked the lake. <laughs> And it literally kept trying to pick the lake up, pick the lake up with its mouth, and it wouldn't work, so it started clawing. And we're just watching this dog go, <laughs> like it's trying. And we finally had to haul the dog out because the dog was going to drown trying to murder a lake. Uh, all right. Well, I, I, that's all I got on that story. There we go. I think we have one last topic, oh. right? Uh, I'm told we have two. Oh, including. let's go. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's yeah. back through them. Valente Beach, oh, also land for three cycles. Nice. Uh, okay, I want everybody at home to know that on Sunday was one of the best experiences I've had in forever and a day. Okay. And whatever I say about Valente Beach, uh, I mean with love and affection. My favorite part. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yep. What the fuck's Valente Beach? <laughs> okay. yeah. I, I think we have pictures of it, but it's a water park on Lake Travis, right? Oh, okay. okay, so That's a it. local to Austin water park. Correct. How would you de how would you d define the size of it? Like, is uh, it like a Six Flags Disney World, uh, uh, a, a small park with two slides? What are we talking about? You you would definitely get the impression that it's the former uh, from the advertisements, but it's definitely the latter. I believe there are three slides, three slides, uh, and and a beach that goes into the water. Right, got okay. you. Mm -hmm. um, so before we go there, this is uh, we uh, we have this discussion. Hey man, it's so hot. I want to go get. Uh, wet, we should go pad canoeing, or what? I hate canoeing. What about down a river? I hate canoeing on a river even more. And it's like, man, I just want to get in cool water. And he's like, hey, Barton Springs. And it, I, I Google uh, Barton Springs, and it says, uh, it shows this normal, uh, how busy it is times. And it's like, it's three times higher than its normal peak is, and it's like 10 in the morning. And, it, and uh, uh, Justin, how do I feel about crowds and lines? Uh, you'd rather kill yourself. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Bonnie. So, like a popular post office would be your worst nightmare. Oh, fuck you. Because that is <laughs> my, my no, worst no, nightmare. No, 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 no. The way that Brian would love to go to the popular post office is if he figured out that all you had to do was, like, uh, uh, kick the, the third P.O. box to the right four times and a small man came out and would do anything you needed to do at the post office. He would then go to the popular post office every day of his life, regardless of whether or not he needed to mail something, he would just talk to the little man to prove the fact that he could skip the line. That's mm, the one thing okay. that will not happen is in, in a, a impromptu family plan, he be cornered into the idea of, we're all going to a thing where there's a lot of lines and he does not have the option to get out of waiting in line. That is correct. 100% correct, right? <clears throat> so at first, uh, Bonnie suggests uh, we should go to Valente Beach. And I'm like, that is an hour drive through twisty, windy roads. It's on the complete ass end of Lake Travis. Takes forever to freaking get there. And then from everything I've heard, it's overpriced and expensive. Why would we want to go? I bet very few. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's, let's go do this. So we drive fucking hour yeah. <laughs> to the other side of Lake Travis. $95 for us to access the same lake that everyone gets to for free yep. with, with some sand. Uh, I uh, walk in, nothing but empty picnic tables as far as the eye could see. So you have nobody there. So you went to the oh. rich people lake. Oh, uh, 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 I'm not rich anymore. I, I went to the <laughs> beach and all I got was uh, a concussion. Um, because that's the other thing we found out is in our excitement, um, I know we're all kind of like revving back up to crowds and stuff, but you could tell uh, uh, this is a, a small operation. And uh, 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 um, <clears throat> uh, here's two unrelated words: liability trap. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, like, like, remember the good old days where uh, where where people just didn't care about safety or anything? Yeah, you can like throw asbestos like glitter. It was great. Yeah, <laughs> alive and well, my friend, <laughs> as is evidenced by the fact that the third ride, uh, my daughter. Uh, uh, got a, a silver dollar size goose egg because uh, she went down a slide that is segments poorly connected together and her head went gonk, 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 and then at the bottom of it unceremoniously dropped her into nine feet of lake water. <laughs> Ta -da! So wait a minute, hold on. So I, I thought what you were saying was they were more uh, careful. You're saying 
Like, like they don't give a shit now. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know how many shits they do or don't give. Yeah. What I do know is we made it three rides in before uh, my daughter injured herself. And that was a wrap. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, no, no. Oh, we, we, oh we, you, we, you told we, her to dump it out. Are you kidding me? We went to the snack bar, and we took some ice, and we put it in her shorts and made her put it on the back of her head, and then we went swimming in the lake. I mean, it was 95 miles. Follow-up question. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's say over the weekend I go to the rich people lake. And I, yeah. I, I, I go It's to, the same lake! I go down. Oh. The, I go down the death slide yes. into this night feet of water. When I hit the bottom and I shove my hand to some kind of sea monster, <laughs> yeah. how how big is the thing I'm gonna haul out? Uh, it'll be a very angry 13 year old, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who's glad that at least her dad held onto her glasses so she didn't lose those oh, I'm two. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, whoops, I do. My bad. I do like the idea that we. Me and Heaton are going to go to the Rich Kid Lake, uh, <laughs> and, and we're just going to sit there and snidely talk about how we're going to ruin the kids at Fat Camp's <laughs> end of summer gala. <laughs> There's no way they could possibly win the ski competition. No, to keep their, not when uh, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, highly recommended. Five out of five. Valente <laughs> just, Beach. Just make sure to tuck your head down. We're looking for sponsors, Valente Beach. Uh, we want we want to be the official podcast of Valente Beach. Uh, there is one last topic, but it's more of a reminder. L.A. Oh. is hideous. Uh, yeah. We're going to later in the episode actually read mm, poems yes. from your brand new mm. book of poems, mm. L.A. is Hideous. But in one sentence, how would you describe the book? A funny coffee table book about the aesthetic monstrosity that is Los Angeles. Not even a sentence, just a fragment. <laughs> Sentences have <laughs> verbs, my friend. Sorry. Uh, you know what? <laughs> as, as the only poet in oh, the room God, right now, wow. I believe... Than the rest of the pedestrians. Bing do. autopilot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I just got booked. <laughs> uh, all right, LA is ugly.com is where you need to go right uh -huh. now. We really need Diamond Club to come through for Heaton. This is a big book release, and everybody should uh, support it. It is hilarious, and you will know it is hilarious by the end of mm -hmm. the show. It, it, it definitely is literally laugh out loud funny. I believe uh, uh, Heaton remembers me sitting in the scamp just opening to random pages and bursting out laughing. I, I think uh, that was literally when it went from this is a funny hobby I'm doing for my own mental health to like this is something that I could use to finally displace the National Poet Laureate with. <laughs> uh, so it gave me a lot of a lot of juice. Thank you. Uh, and then we, we, uh, we also talked about how it's like a reverse Kobayashi Maru because who wants to die for L.A.? <laughs> right. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. The only person who loves L.A. is Randy Newman. Yeah. Uh, uh, what... He only loves the checks he cash. That's it. Uh, uh, speaking of that, we love checks that we cash. Yeah. And you can give us money by going to patreon.com slash night attack. Patreon.com slash night attack. Slash what? Oh! right, oh. dance. <laughs> Oh, patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> why, why did we change the fucking name? Uh, <laughs> because, because the other one sounded like we ran a noodle in booth. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go out after the best and find a puddle. <laughs> patreon.com slash great night is where you can get on the team. Guys, it's never been simpler. If you get on at the $2 a week level, then you get a bonus podcast each and every week. Uh, uh, that's it. That's the bargain. And, and now our, our uh, episodes that come out each and every uh, week on the free feed are the pre-show, the show, and the post-show. Yep. It is, uh, 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 we're doing it for you, guys. We're building up this team. We've got all these awesome people here in studio because we want to make this bigger and better each and every week. Thank you for everybody that has already come out of the woodwork and supported us. Uh, if you would like to, it's so simple. Patreon.com slash great night. Hells yeah. A wise man once told me that uh, the internet smells effort, and hopefully it, it, we reek of it. We are, we are putting a uh, uh, pilot's worth of effort into... Uh... <laughs> and let me tell you, man, uh, Valente Beach don't pay for itself. No? <laughs> so <laughs> please support us. If you want uh, Brian's children to remain concussed, please yeah. continue giving through Patreon to Great Night. Exactly. Concussed please remember to do it, because Brian's children won't. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Bryce, you got a game for us? <laughs> Hello, we do have a game. We're bringing back a class. <laughs> we're bringing... We're bringing back a classic. Say it with me. The Start Up Spelling Bee! Yeah! Uh, so, uh, 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 Bryce, do you want to explain to Heaton, I guess? Yeah, I'll explain to everybody. Uh, the Start Up Spelling Bee is a game that we've been doing for a little while now. I don't think we're going to try to make it a tournament right now, but I think we'll just play the one game tonight. Um, but I'm going to give you the name of a startup as found by AngelList, angel.co, where uh, all of the new startups go and register so that people can find them. It's like LinkedIn for startups. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the name of a startup, and you will have to spell it correctly i have some extra information including the tagline the number of employees more details the country or city that they're located in um but uh, uh we'll go we'll go through everybody everybody uh, you'll get a chance to guess um and if you get it right you'll get the point if you don't get it right we'll pass it to the next person you want to do an example round uh, yeah. we, we will before we get into that though mm -hmm. there is something that's happened in the last two editions of great night that we don't have tonight and that is consequences. Last time in in uh, in our debut episode, Brian lost and uh, had to have a modified Nerf Gatling gun fire dozens of Nerf bullets into his crotch while it was only protected by a bell. Mm, uh, okay. The Southern next bell. week, it was a big bell. It was a big bell. Okay. All the right. next week, Brian lost and had to snort beer. Uh, this is but, what we're doing. We're keeping score now. Is that this? Is <laughs> I'm just, I'm just illustrating. Okay, yep. That would, yep. there's consequences. So when Brian loses this week, uh, oh. he would have, <laughs> he would have to complete a consequence, but we don't have one. However, during our pre-show meeting, we decided that uh, uh, our, our 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 new addition, Brett Weaver, our, our announcer, warm handshake on a cold winter's day. Sure. Uh, right. That that you would become the consequence. Director, I am the stakes master. The stakes, <laughs> the stakes master. master. Uh, so, what we want people to do, Bryce, is send emails to where? Uh, the email address you can send stuff to is greatnightpod at gmail.com. One more time, greatnight, G R E A T N I G H T P O D at gmail.com. And that is where, if you want to suggest uh, stakes or consequences for our games, that's where you can do it. Brett will be the person that determines what goes uh, what goes live, but this. Hopefully, will be the last non-consequence filled game that we will have in a while. And then Brian will have consequences in every show. Yeah. So, so yeah. It next week, be. Brian has a consequence. The yeah. week after, Brian has so, a consequence. So, like, before 10, we started 20, this, when, when, 50 weeks later. When, when Brian snorted beer and asked me to shoot him with a Nerf gun on the crotch, that was just for fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> related to? That was okay. just because he yeah. put autopilot on. Yeah. Okay. Call me yeah. naughty. Call me yeah. naughty. <laughs> So, hmm, okay, we kind of, I feel like we, <laughs> I feel like we drifted just at the end there. Uh, so I'm going to give you the name of a startup. I've got some information if you'd like it. I need you to spell it correctly for me. We're going to start uh, with Justin. This is an example round, just so everybody knows how we're doing this. Justin. Yep. Your word, your startup is. Uh, upraise. <laughs> upraise. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Uh, fuck. Upraise is down. <laughs> Can you tell me how many employees it has? Uh, it has between 11 and 50 employees. Can you tell me when it was founded? Uh, can I tell you when it was founded? Well, I can tell you it is in India. And uh, that is all the information I have in terms of when. Uh, uh, but the tagline for Uprise is, or Upraise, excuse me, tech salaries are rising. Get your raise at Upraise. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Upraise. U P R A Z E. Upraise. Your answer, U P R A Z E, is. Where's my wrong? Fuck Incorrect. You. Fuck Incorrect. you. Andrew, everybody laughed at me when I subscribed to Indian Startup Monthly. <laughs> and now <laughs> you can drink my tears of joy. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, okay, that's go. how that works. All right. So, well, uh, uh, Andrew, we'll give you a chance here. Okay. Upraise. Uh, I'm going to go U P R A I S E. U P R A I S E. Your answer is. Oh, God damn it. Yes. Oh, Correct. Correct. 
T take that guy in Alabama who works at a Baptist church who had an idea for something called You Praise. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's outsourcing praise. But you're, yeah. you're, you're, too, you're too busy to, to say Hosea. Yeah. Like, I just don't have time to acknowledge the, the magnificence of our God, but I'm going to outsource it to India. Oh, jeepers. So, like, you, you all, like, you know, I just it's, love, it's I Jesus just love this week. This guy in Alabama who's got a face as round as possible, <laughs> red faced with anger, just looks up and says, Why do you test me, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> and the God just pulls out the garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our example round. We we understand how the game is played now. You're correct. Okay. Yeah, uh, Andrew, we're going to start with you here okay. on our first real round. Your startup is Vizcore. 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 I've got some more information if you'd like it. Uh, what is the motto? Uh, their tagline is Apple for NFTs. Whew. Oh, good, because I definitely understand NFTs. <laughs> you know, it's NFTs, kind of bunk board that of super, crypto. very understandable, <laughs> definitely safe thing to, to lump your stuff into. Okay, uh, it's the Microsoft of NFTs. The Apple, Apple, Apple of NFTs. Oh, my yeah. bad. Those are the Apple, Apple, Come on, the Apple on, of man. NFTs. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Dipshit. What, what is so that was their that yeah, was their motto. Different. That's their tagline. What, what is their uh, company mission statement? Uh, here's some more details. The Viscor platform strives to provide a dynamic and secure NFT marketplace, equipped with sufficient tools and resources that allow NFT creators to realize their full potential. Viscor. Would you say that Viscor is more at the center of the NFT movement, or is a kind of esprit de corps? Mm. Uh, a military kind of. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Your Honor, uh, objection. <laughs> yeah, you only got a few. Right, okay, right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. can tell you, it the, is the, one the, to ten employees, and is from Nigeria. That's all I needed to know. Vizcor. <laughs> yeah. Because I subscribe to Nigerian Startup Monthly, <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to figure out if it was the Vizcor I thought it was. We just spelled V I Z C O R E. V I Z C O R E. Is that correct? Yes. Is that your answer? That is correct. Your answer is. Incorrect. Oh, where did I buy that counterfeit Shit. Nigerian monthly startup magazine? Uh, Brian, hi, you're I am a, a I am a prince, Mr. Heaton, and I would like to sell you a subscription <laughs> to Nigerian <laughs> Startup Monthly. Uh, Brian, we have hundreds of issues, but we just need you to send us one. Please write yeah. one episode. Please or write one is issue <laughs> of Nigerian Startup Monthly, <laughs> and I will immediately send you 400 Wait, issues. So you will be a very rich man <laughs> in Nigerian Startup. <laughs> Can I, can I make a, br a, a brief aside on, on fascinating magazine stuff I just learned? One of my friends, for an unrelated shoot, one time had to film something in an abandoned hospital, and he found a box of Playboys entirely in Braille. That's a thing. Oh. Nice. They were the Is that a thing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most... Like, was, yeah, I don't know if it's for the article. I'd like to think it's like... I, they're the only people you can believe when they say they read it for the articles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, she's in a bathtub. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> uh, we're, we're fixing Justin's mic. But don't worry about it, everybody. Uh, but we're going to go to Brian. Brian's going to get a chance to spell Viscor. Brian, uh, Viscor. Viz Viscor. Um, uh, 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 V-I-Z-C-O-R-P-S. They're the Viscor. They're like the G.I. Joe of whatever it is they do. Uh, I see. Your answer, V-I-Z-C-O-R-P-S, is... Oh. Incorrect. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I, all right. All right, Justin. Yeah. Steal. Steal Andrew's mic Step there. Step aside, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking Vizcor. That's yeah. Right. All the right. Apple of NFTs. The Apple of NFTs. Vizcor. V I Z C O R R. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. V. I Z. -C -O -R -R. That's always a good sign when, in a spelling bee, the judge says, "Oh, interesting." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not a yeah. fun way you chose to spell it. Uh, well, let's take a look here on the official angel list uh, uh, spelling. Brett, can you spell? Uh, you might not be able to see this. Uh, here we go. Can you spell this for me? Bum, bum, I can't bum. believe you guys didn't get this. <laughs> Jesus. It's oh, V I S Q. <laughs> O R E. This one's not the same thing. That's the Microsoft of NFT. Yeah, this is you know Visqua. I like Visqua. That's my sworn enemy. Visqua. The Connecticut Visquas. All right. Let's move on to Brian. Brian, you're going to start us off here first. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, Brian, your word. Dandelion-y. Dandelion-y? Dandelion-y. Dandelion-y. What do they do? Uh, Dandelion-y's, tag, Dandelion-y's tagline is, we are trying to provide a new way for expats to make friends. Dandelion-y. Okay, so I, I, assume... I thought it was some sort of lion fashion show. Uh, so, so dandelion-y. Dandelion-y. Um, how many, how, how big is it? Uh, they have one to ten employees. Jeez. <laughs> one, one to ten members as well, so. I mean, I'm going to assume that nobody had already snatched up dandelion-y spelled 100% correctly. So now the question is, <laughs> <laughs> what is 100% correctly? Yeah. yeah. Uh, D A N D. Y L I O N Y dot com. All right, Brian, your answer is oh. incorrect. I subscribe to Dandelion E Independent Startup Quarterly. <laughs> We're going to go to Justin now. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the most helpful one. Of course. Uh, whoopee, I just downloaded Dandelion E. Hmm. And where is it based? Uh, they are based out of Dubai. Oh. Mm. Dandy Dandelion-y. Shit, I don't subscribe to any startup <laughs> magazines. From- <laughs> Dandelion-y. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D a n d i l i o n e e. Dandelion. Oh. Your answer is Correctamundo. Suck my ass! Suck my ass! You're so good at this. You should move to the Bay Area and do a startup. Oh Oh. my god! Uh, That's that's the most impressive (laughs) shit that's ever happened on Twig. Uh Oops, uh, you actually did spell that incorrect. Oh! 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 I'll take the belt on that. I, fu- oh! I fucked up. Suck Give me the belt. Ass. Give me the oh, belt. I fucked fuck up. You. <laughs> That's the best shit that I've Give me the belt. I fucked up. Uh, give me the belt. I fucked up. Now I got to suck my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the next fuck yes. Fuck yes. Sorry, it was D A N D. E L I O N E E. Apologies. I'm going to take a belt here. I got the belt right here. This is going to be heavy. It's going to be hard to do the show like this. But, uh, <laughs> we'll certainly try. All right. Well, we'll give Justin the point anyway because I fucked up. That's my fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Bank error in your favor is what just happened. Yep. <laughs> That's all the beginning and end of it. Don't Justin. worry, Brian. There's no consequence this week. Oh, you're right. There is no consequence <laughs> this week. So. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we're going to start with you on this next one, and you Let's do have to spell it correctly. Going up two. <laughs> your startup is... Hola, Cash. Hola, <laughs> Cash. And you use it in a sentence... Sure. Ola Cash is empowering the LATAM public to make everyday payments fast, easy, and safe. Ola Cash. Uh, how many employees? They currently have 11 through 50 employees. Where's it based? Mexico City. Mm, in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Japan, I'm told it's the Japan of the world. Ola Cash. Ola Cash. Are you just looking it up on your phone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I've actually checked <laughs> the, the, the AC, but that would be a metal move. <laughs> <laughs> he was just checking for it. Like, Brian, like, like, Brian like, just like, well, uh, yeah, I guess there's yeah. no fucking rules anymore. So, <laughs> Cockpit no pornography. You say? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ola we, do, we don't have to deal with punctuation, do we? Correct. Okay. Um, Ola Cash. H O L A K A S H. Your answer is. 
Incorrect. Mm. We're going to go to... You still going to give him the point? Or does that yeah. not yeah. count? <laughs> Eat shit, noodler. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sore noodler. <laughs> Andrew, it's your turn. Okay. I'll see uh, if I can not fuck this one up. All right. Uh, Ola Cash. Okay. Ola Cash. H-O-L-A-C... A cash sign H. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Your answer is. I think that could Ola be Cash is also my nickname at the strip club, so I'm just assuming that the stars have aligned. No. Is, that, is that a good sound? No. Is that a good sound? <laughs> yes, no. that means uh, you died in Pitbull. <laughs> Classic that means you're good again. Death in Pitbull. <laughs> All right, Brian, this is your chance. Ola Last Ola Cash, or as. Uh, that's I good. don't know, holla cash. Uh, uh, Which does not sound nearly as good. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be fun, though. Um, okay, hola cash. H-O-L-A-C-A-C-H-E. Ah, ah I see. Like, uh, like a like cache, a website. Yeah. Or, or a cache of, of, like, you know, store your stored goods. Stored right. the yeah, goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, say hello to them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, like, like your silver bars, mm -hmm. your, your haunted, cursed gold, yeah, your uh, doubloons. doubloons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're definitely finding doubloons now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, your answer is. <laughs> Incorrect. Sorry, was it just. H O L A C A S H? Maybe. Oh, oh, damn it. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> H O L A space C A S H. No, wait, were we just betting that people couldn't spell Ola? Uh, I wait, wait. If, here's what I you, you got tri I, don't, I can't tell you what you do and do not do, but it did All seem right, like you got whatever, faked whatever, out. Whatever, whatever. I'm still up one. <laughs> See, I, I, th I think he knew it, but refused to say it because it involved L A. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, if, about if, these if, LA if, hoes. To, to get it correct, would you have had to have the space in it? Would you have had to say H O L A space? No. Nah, I would. I would have let you. I would. So I was getting needlessly fancy. With, uh, also, with you gave what, a thing that, that's that the trick of this. You gave the URL. Money yeah. sign. As money well. sign does not like 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 track in the, in the URL. Hindsight twenty twenty yeah. on that one. Okay. Well, right. I guess since I couldn't use that, it would just default into an S, wouldn't it? So Although literal five ninety four says that the logo does have a dollar sign. Oh. That, uh, I, I mean, yeah, the logo okay. does, but it's not the logo. No, but it also doesn't say Ola. It just says cash. It just says cash. Uh -huh. when, so we're not looking for the URL. We are looking yeah. for the name of the Wow. Startup. Turns out you didn't spell it right, and you fucked up. You don't get the point. Huh. Mm. Okay. Funny how that works. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, I can take yours back that if you like. That's fair to me. Back. That seems like mm -hmm. the way things should That's be done. That's just the way things <laughs> go. Like if you don't get it right, you shouldn't get a point. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> The, I love Lose this. burning daylight here. Andrew, we're starting with you on okay. this next one. Right. Your startup is Channels. <laughs> okay. Channels. Uh, what does Channels do? Uh, channels is the full <laughs> service. The <laughs> is the full service tenant app tailored to the needs of shopping, mixed use, and office properties. Mixed channels. use, dog. <laughs> I don't know what any of that meant. So it's it's an app for people that own buildings? Channels is yeah. an all-in-one digital solution. Yeah. It all enables owners oh, and operators to connect and create a transparent performing <laughs> and receiving right. feedback on Everybody diverse topics. Everybody stock and channels. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, how, uh, what, what is their motto? Uh, their tagline is the full service tenant app tailored to the needs of shopping, mixed use, and office properties. So, is it is it clearly a prostitution ring that they're just trying to have an app on it? Is this replacing it's an app. the, it's the a old, real app. Uh, escort service we can't use anymore? I mean, they can't use it anymore. It's based out of Rotterdam and they have 11 to 50 employees. Dude. Ah, Rotterdam, you say. <laughs> the Kenny well, Bunkport. That, that changes things. The Kenny Bunkport of the uh, Netherlands. Obviously. Uh, okay. Of course. So, Channels. Channels. And it's Dutch? It's from Rotterdam, wherever Rotterdam is. Okay. All right. I'm being told Rotterdam is the second largest city and municipality in the Netherlands. Okay, great. And is it, is it, is it Rotterdam proper, or is it one of the surrounding <laughs> properties? Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Please give your answer. Okay. <laughs> channels is, of course... C H A I N E L uh, uh, cash sign <laughs> V I S C O I R S. No, I okay. No, C H C H A I N E L. Can you, can, you added a lot of letters. Channels. I don't. Channels. Channels. One more time. C H I N E L S. Channels. Channels. Your answer of channels is. That's right. Oh. Was that good or bad? Like, no, you. 
you made That's the mistake right. of getting it right, which yes. means, of course, Justin gets uh. a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the only fair way. <laughs> Some of us are getting a little hurt by these jokes. <laughs> he got it correct. C-H-A-I-N. Don't let him get you down, Bryce. You fucking keep going. You're keep going on the too. You're on the file, too. You're doing great. <laughs> I believe in you. All right. After three rounds, uh, Brett, do you have the score for us? I do have the score. By the way, you're the one. Also, technically, should he have the gotten the point because he said the cash signs? Because if this were an actual <laughs> spelling <laughs> bee, oh, if this were an actual spelling bee, like, -A -N -T -I -C. I, I'm just saying that, like, if he made the joke, like, yeah, then play on ESPN. Do you, do you remember in the 1996 Winter Olympics, Tanya Harding came out and her, her skate was loose and she did some. She came back and she still won the goddamn spelling bee. So <laughs> I think it's Jermaine. Continue. Okay. There you go. We're going to start with Brian. Wait, no, we, 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 oh, it, he won. He already, we're, he already we're, said the score? We're, we're trying to oh, do the score. You can, no, you I have haven't been able to do the score. What is the score, Brian? The score is uh, Justin has one, kind of. Uh, <laughs> Heaton has legit one. Okay. okay. Oh, and okay. Brian has legit zero. See, yo, legit. Hey, legit. Hey, 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 Brett, I got a legit one for you. Yeah, right fucking go. here. Aww. That's that's your all in one digital yeah. <laughs> channel yeah. management. Exactly. I'm gonna give you some also, mixed you use. Really, really oh. channels. I mean, that's a, a decorating, like a jewelry thing for the Netherlands, <laughs> right? Right? It's uh, jewelry for the Netherlands. But functional. Channel. But functional. I, I thought it was going to be Roombas for channels. <laughs> <laughs> like a giant aquatic robot that scrubs the bottom of a, a large canal. Oh, those are the channels. Yes. Uh, no, that's just the name of the. That's just the name of the tunnel. That's just uh, literally a thing. That's just yeah. the correct fact. Congratulations, you learned something, audience. <laughs> Brian, we're going to start with you. Your startup is called Rendero. Rendero. Mm. Start with Brian Brushwood on this one. Rendero. Uh, what do they do? Rendero is the easy to use cloud for creatives. How easy. <laughs> Uh, how 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 big is Rendero? Rendero I'm... is one to ten employees. Well, between one and ten. Rendero. Rendero. <sighs> yeah. uh, 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 use it in a sentence. Sure. <laughs> Rendero enables filmmakers, graphic designers, and animators to create their content fully in the cloud. It's it's so dumb. It's just got to be R E N D E R O. dot com. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> need to... All right, your answer is incorrect. Uh, yeah. Justin, we're going to you. Rendero. R Euro sign. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Fuck. Rendero is down. Man, these startups. That'd be a legit <laughs> problem with that service. Yes, it it's a, a cloud really service. Angel investor money. Sorry, my my cl my cloud is down. How many employees? Yeah, between one and ten employees. Where is it located? Los Angeles, which I'm told is quite ugly. <laughs> According like to an, another startup. It's like an asphalt sphincter. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> the words of a poet, for sure. <laughs> just <laughs> just, just, just on festooned. These channels. <laughs> yeah, festooned with channels. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Rendero. 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 R. E N D E R R O Rendero. Justin, your answer is. Bam. Ah! That's all there is to it. Uh, <laughs> he has legitimately got it. <laughs> I hate it when he wins. <laughs> So he's racist. He's he really right, does. double check it. R E N D E R R O. His wedding right after the vows. Hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, y'all want to talk some shit? <laughs> y'all want to talk some shit now? Hey, Brett, you got some shit to talk? Two and one, baby. So my sensors one legit have determined. And one not so. My, so. my sensors have determined that you are a complete asshole. Ah, oh, leading in the game. Upload that bullshit to Rendero. <laughs> <laughs> and you can share it very easily with Heaton because it's all in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so with that point, Brett, uh, with that additional point to Justin, where are we at in the standings? Well, uh, it's very interesting. 
He's, Justin has two points. Mm-hmm. Eaton has one point. How many of my points are honorary points? <laughs> They're n- they, you were legit. Would you say one hundred percent of my points were earned by me for spelling yes. the word correctly? Okay, Hard working <laughs> person. I am Brian, 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 please like my poetry and buy my book. <laughs> Oh, I love moral victories. I do sound just like that. <laughs> Target two five nine zero one four seven greatest contact. Buy your command. So just to to recap, uh, Justin two Heaton one Brian. You're so cute. A for effort. You're so cute. A for effort and zero. Brian gets an A for effort. I think we need to rework on that balance again. It must have gotten changed. All right. Uh, let's go to our next round here. We're going to start with Justin. Your startup is called Zynga Drinks. Zynga Drinks. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Zynga Drinks is honey cider supporting bees and biodiversity. Zynga Drinks. How many employees? One to ten employees. Where is it based? London. Mm, the honey capital of England. <laughs> the kind of bulk for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Zynga drinks. Zynga drinks. Z i n g a d r i n k s. Zynga drinks. Your answer is incorrect. Good effort. Good effort. Mm. All right, Andrew Heaton, Zynga Drinks. Mm. Please tell okay. me about the product. Uh, okay. just, how to sp- <laughs> just how to spell it is really the only part. Well, of the that. product, Bryce, is a, it's a type of uh, ecologically sustainable honey yeah, that's <laughs> more pretentious than our honey. That's right, honey. biodiversity and all. I give you an honorary <laughs> point. Please put that on the uh, <laughs> I love it. Z- Zynga drinks would be Z I N G A D R I N X. Zynga drinks. All right, your answer is. And you'll always be a loser. Incorrect. <laughs> Brian, Zynga drinks. That, that, that I got this Zen one. Sealed it. Z Y N G A D R I N K S. Zynga drinks. Dollar sign. Uh, with a, uh, and a dollar sign. Of course, your answer of the mobile app developer Zynga drinks. <laughs> oh. Incorrect. So that means okay. <laughs> so that means you did not. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take a look here at Zynga drinks here on our uh, uh, angel list. The spelling is Z Z I N G A D R I N K S. I want to make sure that they show up at the bottom of every list. <laughs> <laughs> two Z's. Justin was close, but he didn't have the two Z's there. See, good. And they didn't give me a point. Look at that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's because their keyboard's sticky. See, tough. Tough but fair. I got to respect it. Yep. Good job, Blue. Good job. There was there was honey on the keyboard. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's All right. Uh, let's, let's skip around here. Ah, yes. Here we go. We're going to start with, I believe, Andrew Heaton on this one. Andrew. Okay. Your uh, startup is called ZDosh. 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 What is ZDosh? Uh, ZDosh, their tagline is value your attention. ZDosh. Uh huh. And what, what do they do? We've built a platform that enables consumers to get paid for their valuable attention using open banking. Using their transaction data, we will model and price their attention, connect them to relevant brands, and pay them. No cookies or other tracking tech required. ZDosh. That does not sound ominous at all. ZDosh. Z E E D O. S-H. I'm going to go simple. <laughs> All right. Your answer, Z-E-E-D-O-S-H, is incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Wow. Weird, oh, man. Uh, Z- that, seemed, that seemed a little rough there, man. Z- He's really hammering it in. Z hyphen D-O-S-H that, <laughs> is my guess. Ryan says Z hyphen D-O-S-H. That answer yeah. is. Uh, oh, I hold it too long. No, I don't want to edit it. I want to play it. Incorrect. Oh, only two kicks to the groin. Mm. Correct. All right, we're moving over to Justin Zdosh. 
Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> sure. You're just buying time. No. Okay. It's literally the only reason you would ever <laughs> say use it in a sentence. Sweet. I've just downloaded ZDosh. Hmm. ZDosh. ZDosh. Z. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> E E D O S H. Good job. <laughs> Your answer of Z E E D O S H and uh, uh, eagle eared listeners will remember that's actually Brian's answer. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. <laughs> Incorrect. I did, I, 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 it's I, actually I, still I, wrong. It's actually I, still incorrect. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I'm gonna take off one I, of your points. I, 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 I didn't pronounce the silent X. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. It was Andrew's answer. Yeah, yeah. Not Brian's no, it was answer. Andrew Zeton. Yeah. Andrew Zeton. That's mm -hmm. right. All right. The uh, spelling that we were looking for was Z E D O S H. Oh. What? Zadosh. 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 They don't need the extra E's because they value your attention. <laughs> All right, we are. Uh, uh, let's let's get the scoreboard before we check out our final round. Brett, do you mind? Brian zero, Heaton one, Justin two. Mm. Ah, okay. Well, with a mic pop. With a, with a <laughs> mic pop. So uh, we're gonna wait. That's the mark of a pro. Who <laughs> can't help me? It's like ah, fuck, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start Brian with Brian on this one. This is our final round. Woo! Ready. Ready. I'm feeling it. I feel good. Thanks for asking. Brian, we're going to start with you. Yep. Your word, your uh, startup is Hyderabad Escorts. <laughs> oh, I know this one really <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you sub subscribe to the idea of that yeah. escorts quarter. I'm, no, not, only, I'm not only a bang escorts one <laughs> in <Hydera. laughs> I've used this 15 times the last two years. Uh, I'm not uh, only the founder, I'm also a member. <laughs> okay. uh, 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 hey, real quick, Bryce, how do yes. you spell the city of Hyderabad? No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I can't tell you that Hyderabad uh, is, man, is uh, the capital and largest. Escorts, they're the best. They're truly professional ladies. H. Y D E R A B A D E S. It's like he's singing. O R T S. Dollar sign. <laughs> Is that really a part of your answer? Oh, good. Just everything else. All right. Your answer. And for the game, uh, did I mention this is our three point round? Oh, shit. That's great. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. So Brian's this consequence-free <laughs> game. <laughs> so how's it going to turn out on the one fucking consequence-free game we played? Yeah. Your answer is... Oh! Oh! Three earned points! Three earned points! <laughs> uh... Does, does this raise a lot of questions about how uh, Brian knows how to spell? This wow, <laughs> like right off the top of his head. Yeah, was, I mean, Jesus the one Christ. Question he got correct. Brian's wife is here board. in the audience. <laughs> uh, she's got a lot of questions. Anyway, great yeah, win, yeah, champ. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good job. Yeah. Good I luck. The question is, where's my plane? If, uh, <laughs> if anybody wants to know a little bit more about Hyderabad Escorts, uh -huh. their tagline is, I am always looking sexy in lingerie, and my sexy dresses make you feel hornier. <laughs> Um, a, a little more information about the service. I am always looking sexy in lingerie, and my sexy dresses make you feel hornier. I love to spend time with you and make time very naughty and memorable. I have all sexual skills in bed that will get you extreme love and pleasure. You know uh, what? This actually sounds kind of cool, because I, I like having an escort service with very bad English <laughs> explaining yeah. to me why I'm horny. Exactly. Like, like, kind of, like, I find that endearing. I've got, good. I've got some scaling questions, but I think this one's going to hit. All of a sudden, we're shark I, I, so I, don't yeah. a, I don't mean to be a dick here, but may I speak to your supervisor, please? I'm having a very difficult time understanding what we're translating yeah. exactly. Uh, uh, you're uh, surrounded by them. Don't so wait, hold on. Is this a guarantee that your dresses will always make me hornier? <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you say that again a little bit louder, just leaning right over here? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Brian. Well, yeah. What a what a yeah. pull there. That was an amazing you're, moment. You're, you're yeah, going to be big... snorting beer for fun and victory. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, it'll be in celebration. I'm like, oh, well, as the winner, and then just do a line of IPA. 
<laughs> a line. Like, that's become the accepted standard <laughs> for snorting beer. Yes. Uh, I'm ready. Hey, what do you say we uh, 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 dedicate some time here for the brand new book, mm. Los Angeles is Hideous, written by Andrew Heaton. I figured that uh, 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 where we talked about earlier that we would turn this into a bit of a poetry slam, right, mm -hmm. Brian? Yep, yep. Uh, the As a matter of fact, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, 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 now, congratulations, the official po poet of Great Night. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the Thank our, you our very poet. much. Uh, I, uh, a great honor, a great I, honor. I assume as our, our poet, you have your book of poetry for us to read from. I, I do. Can I? Can I uh, that's going to be handed. So uh, that's that's uh, code for no. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, so uh, I, I, Thank uh, you. What, what's the, uh, I guess you already gave the elevator pitch. Uh, book's very, very funny. Yeah. What, oh, is it I mean, intended I, I to give, be I can give funny? more of an elevator. It's intended to be funny. Okay. It's meant to be Good. funny. Uh, if, if you have lived in L.A. and escaped L.A., maybe you've got a niece or a nephew who's thinking about moving to L.A. after graduation, and you want a passive-aggressive way to let them know they're doomed. This might be good for you, right? And if you've ever just driven through and you saw Los Angeles and now you can't unsee Los Angeles and you need a comedian to help you work through the aesthetic trauma that is that concrete carbuncle, Los Angeles is hideous is your shaman to get through that. Okay, so we're, we're going to take turns. Uh, this is uh, Slam Poetry Night. Would you, would you like to give us a reading of, of, one, of one of yours? Yes. Um, you know what? Okay, I've been reading the greater L.A. Necroplex on the, on the previous hits, but I can swear in this one, right? Uh, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. You so, can't. You can't. We are. Let, let's let, I, let, let, let's clear. Is, let's is, clear is the it, air here. Yeah. Yeah. Is, we'll, is, we'll, is we'll, it we'll, possible we'll, to make a request for like some some like spacey Philip Glass music? Is that possible? Uh, yes. Give us this. Give us a moment. Yeah, yeah. We, we have oh, really? Have great. great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, one more time, what is the URL that people can go to to see uh, to pick up a copy of Los Angeles? Go to laisugly.com. And you'll be able to pick up this life-changing book that will make you taller, smarter, and also laugh at Los Angeles. Holy shit, man. We do a show with poetry slam. This no. is now one of the most... And, and this dress has made me so much hornier. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's see, if, uh, let's see if this music will do something for you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Beaches are overrated by Andrew Heaton, Poet Laureate of Great Night. Yes, there's a beach, you twat. There are beaches everywhere. Drive an hour north or south, there are still beaches, only with less traffic and cheaper rent. You could be a shoe salesman there too, or some other survival job, but keep more hard-earned cash. You won't though, because you're a moron. And think status can be gained through osmosis by living in the same zip code as famous people. It's one long goddamn beach from here to fucking Alaska. But here specifically, monthly rent is 2,000 and average salary is exposure, which leaves little in the way for food or 401ks because math. But there's a beach and I love beaches because I enjoy getting sleepy and hot in a stretchy litter box near sharks and dead fish. My friend, beaches are just deserts with a hole at the end. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Woo! Is there one that you would recommend for me? Yeah, let's see, for you. Let's Ladies see. and gentlemen, reading selections from um, Poet Laureate of Great Night is Justin Robert Young. Let's do... Congratulations for putting letters on a hill. <laughs> uh, I just want to say before I get started that uh, this is an honor uh, to read from the, uh, the work of a poet laureate like Andrew Heaton. This is congratulations for putting letters on a hill. Note her landmark, a bunch of letters on a mound, as if some dyslexic deity tried to claim it for himself, lest the other trash gods stake it first. Spelt out atop Mount Lee, Named for a dead car dealer, it first read Hollywood Land, 
to advertise segregated housing. <laughs> but now, simpler. Hollywood. To advertise hope and come. <laughs> For a while, it said only Woodland. <laughs> When its caretaker got shit-faced and drove off a cliff with the H. <laughs> then, a stretch of time has holy OD as it splintered and rot the road sign of Dorian Gray. Credit Hugh Hefner for its restoration. Rich through Playboy magazine, meaning the famous ivory letters are ultimately born of the nips of countless forgotten tits like the slaves who built the pyramids. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, well done. Mr. Heaton, if you would uh, give me the honor of, yeah, of selecting I'm, I'm my own. I'll select one for you. Oh, 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 okay. All right. right, here, right, right. Okay. One more Ladies time, gentlemen. LAisugly.com. LAisugly.com. Uh, reading selections from uh, Los Angeles is hideous is Startup Spelling Bee winner, uh, Brian uh, Allen Brushwood. The Los Angeles River. Hello, my name is Brian Brushwood. This is The Los Angeles River by Andrew Heaton. River is in air quotes, or actual quotes. Both, both, both. Behold the mighty Los Angeles River, a lengthy concrete drainage ditch, wide as a shoebox, pretty as a penal shower dribbling pollution into the sea. If a river but trickles through a mortared gutter, is it a river at all or just a leak from some distant dehydrated mountain with an engorged prostate and bad aim? <laughs> Twice a year the rain gets lost or drunk and shambles through L.A., sloshing life back into this trough. But the rest of the time, it's merely the seepage of urban incontinence. Thank you. Oh, my God. Well done. Well done. All right, we, we, we do have some special guests in the audience. Oh, actually, Brett, would you like to, yeah, to read one for us? Uh, yeah. I assume you've won a bunch of awards, so we'll say award-winning uh, uh, voice talent. You, 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 give him, you give him a poem. Uh, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah. You, you come up, but, but Heaton's got to give you a poem here. Uh, again, guys, we cannot say this clearly enough. Go, laisugly.com. The more we are... LA, wait, LA is ugly. Oh, that's right, that is the URL. Yeah, sorry, yeah. .com. laisugly.com. Uh, that's where you go. It's Los Angeles is hideous. Uh, 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 please, buy it. Five stars, five stars. Leave a great review with the secret keyword that we told you guys earlier and never tell Heaton what it is. So, Brett, your poem is, It's an Ugly Fucking Desert. All right. Uh, here to read, It's an Ugly Fucking Desert, is Brett Weaver. Hello, everyone. I would like to read for you, please. It's an Ugly Fucking Desert. If you look at the map on Google and peer down on the city like an astronaut, Los Angeles has green parks, golf courses, forests, but on foot, or rather in a car, it is an all sun blanched coffee grounds, scrubby, desperate weeds, dirt, dust, and candy wrappers, blighted nothing, clogged with traffic, hills broken, slags, oh, hills, broken slags of scrubby brown as if a mountain did chemotherapy and then gave up halfway through. <laughs> Plenty of lush green lawns though, which may be why there's a water shortage because these morons 
move to a fucking desert, yet insist on pretending they're basically in Vermont. Los Angeles once had dense smog, which has thankfully receded, only to reveal, why yes, it's still just heaps of squalor clumped atop cement, used condoms on picnic tables. Cataract surgery is for naught when peering into garbage. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, making her very first appearance on the relaunched Great Night podcast, please give a warm round of applause for Bonnie the Invisible Wife. Oh, shit! You are going to read this one. Okay. <laughs> Hello. My name is Bonnie Brushwood, and I'm here to read An Ode to Traffic by Andrew Heaton. If highways are a city's arteries, Los Angeles is begging for a heart attack and a stroke so prodigious, it makes a popping noise audible in Arizona. <laughs> a burrow most constipated, squatting on a toilet, straining, straining to squeeze out a Prius. <laughs> And when it succeeds, teeth clenched, sweat drenched. Guess what? The toilet is clogged. <gasps> because that's LA, the septic tank of hope and dreams. Angelinos spend 128 hours in their cars each year, but it only takes an hour to drive the fuck away. <laughs> uh, hey, Bryce, is, it, is there a chance we could talk you in, into reading oh, one from Bryce! the desk? <laughs> yeah, here, I'll come up. I can come oh, up. Right I, can, I think I can come up. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, here to read from Andrew Heaton, poet laureate of Great Night's book, Los Angeles is Hideous, Bryce Neshkop Castillo. Castillo. Hello, everybody. This is a poem from Andrew Heaton called Fire Season. The horizon is burning oatmeal. <laughs> Gasping ochre welkin in flamed bowels of dying sky gods. The sun is an orange smudge shouting against the anguished screams of dying trees. Because California is on fire again, uh, excuse me, let me, because California is on fire again, <laughs> in fact, seasonally, <laughs> the way other states have autumn, <laughs> or when the peach blossoms bloom, except here they explode, a thin layer of soot settles on your 2004 Ford Taurus like the ashes of immolated angels or the smoking residue of dreams. Oh my gosh, dude, I, 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 we, we, we've run long on this I one. I think we have. Yeah. I think we have. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, let's hear it one more time for Andrew Heaton's book, which is awesome and amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, very depressed <laughs> while you were writing it, right? I was very depressed. I, I, I wrote most of this in my head while in a bathtub under lockdown, eating Oreos with a ladle out of a bowl because I was too sad to make do dishes. So, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm laughing because it's polite. Uh, but... <laughs> That's the title but I know one. it's real. Because <laughs> yeah. like, when you know Heaton enough, you know that his natural humor is very merciful. Chipper. Very like, chipper. Like, you, yeah. are, you, are, you are there to, like, you are always going to go for the absurd. 
You are you are very yeah. rarely going to go I like for the horse for the... jokes in airplane. Exactly. Normally, yeah. yeah. This, this, but this, this is like this comes from real pain. Tr- tr- truly, though, this this started in a text conversation with you. Yeah. So like like, and I didn't know I was writing a book at the time, and lockdown hadn't happened, but I was looking around Los Angeles for an apartment, and I was just fucking angry by the time I was done walking around, uh, and I you, texted I, you. I couldn't tell. It was something yeah. like. Like, it was like like uh, Justin. This place is pretty as a cinder block smeared with lipstick. It, it's I, like I it, it's that. it's like a public toilet with a boob job. Why does anyone live here? <laughs> and, and like God, and, it, get, and get, I started keeping notes because I was like, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah. I just realized that uh, uh, the one story that <laughs> or the one story you've told about LA was you were not happy in traffic. Uh, and the one story I told about LA is walking by. Uh, uh, I, I think there was a human turd on a paper plate or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He says there's something like he doesn't know exactly what the situation was. I, well, no, I thought there were two things. I forgot what the, like, there was an attractive thing, and then that was the ugly thing. Yeah. But, but yeah. Oh, no. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> uh, uh, but it turns out if he just wrote that, he couldn't make a book. So he spread it out a little bit. He dropped a little water in the whiskey, and next thing you know, you can taste mm-hmm. all the undernotes. And that's why you need to go and buy the book right now. Mm-hmm. It is L.A. is ugly dot com. That is the website that you need to go to. Los Angeles is hideous is the book. He was kind enough to make you not spell Los Angeles or hideous yeah. in a URL. I, did, smart, I didn't have faith in most people to pull that off. So I, uh, yeah, yeah, LAisUgly.com. Yeah. Uh, a bit surprised that URL was still available. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. I was like, someone's got to be squatting on this. But no, I've got it now. Uh, hey, Justin. Yeah. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that you are a vengeful god. <laughs> yeah. And- I mean, uh, I, 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 I am humbled and honored to have fairly won this consequence-free game. <laughs> uh, oh, boy, really wish it was one of the consequence ones, but, you know, that's, that's okay by me. Yeah, uh, I mean, turns out it's not, so uh, zero consequences for me. Uh, but, you know, next week, everybody uh, write in so we can get some. Uh, uh, I learned that LAisUgly.com is where I need to go right now so I can buy Andrew Heaton's new book. Uh, I learned uh, to respect pilots just a little bit more. I learned for $500 your children can get concussions in peace. (laughs) Uh, Hey, look, we love you guys. Shine on you, Crazy Diamonds. Still a great night. You keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bed, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>